Hey guys, Lou Wizard here with another Mythic key opening video. So it is the first Friday of the month, and as always, there is a new Mythic troop out today called the Archduke. And uh, we're going to check out its ability, and then we're going to go open up a bunch of keys and try to get this troop. Now this troop is available this week, it's ex exclusive to Glory Keys, Gem, Guild, and VIP Keys. And uh, if you get lucky enough to pull a mythic troop this week, this is the mythic that will drop for you. You won't get any other mythics unless you're opening event keys. So this mythic is not in event keys, so do not open those if you're trying to get this mythic. Alright, so... You guys that have watched the previous video, I had some really bad luck trying to get the, the last new Mythic that came out, and I had to go into my uh, VIP keys. So I'm hoping that's not the case this time, but uh, we're going we're gonna to cross our fingers, right, and uh, hope that we have some luck this time. So I want to check out its ability here real quick before we get into opening those keys. Uh, so I'm going to go unowned and base rarity will find it in here. And let's see, where is it? There it is, the Archduke. So it has a mana color of red, blue, and brown and a mana cost of 25. It is from the Kingdom Blighted Lands. It's a demon. And uh, let's see what its ability is. Its ability is called Damned Blade. Deal 50 damage to an enemy. There's a percentage chance equal to my magic to destroy them. If they die, summon a Lemur. And that's probably a demon troop of some kind. I forget which one that is. But it uh, looks like it's going to do lethal damage based on... Uh, it's a percentage chance to do lethal damage based on its current magic. So right now, right here, the magic for mine is 29, right by this little magic orb you can see here on the card. That right there is my percentage, so uh, it'll do 50 damage to an enemy, and then there's a 29% chance here for me to do lethal damage to that troop. Now, in order to... The only way that I see to make this troop, like, really good is to find a way to get this magic increased. <clears throat> and right right now in my mind, one of the first things that's coming to my mind that could be used, useful for this troop is in high-level delves because uh, your magic is going to be increased in there. So um, that would give you a higher percentage for a lethal kill. So I'm seeing right now that this mythic troop is probably going to be uh, used a lot in uh, high-level delves, um, just like High King Iron Gut is used a lot for its devour. Um but the trick is also we need to find troops or weapons that increase the magic of a troop because that'll also, if you get this, it's magic up to 100, then it will have a 100% chance of doing lethal kills just like uh, Zilgoth does. So, um, yeah, that's great. Um, uh, so there's some potential here. This is This troop probably isn't going to be something I would recommend uh someone a new person to get like for your first mythic or your first four or five mythics to get i would suggest other mythics probably besides this one uh, but this is looking a little interesting let's see what his traits are traits it's immune to death mark it reflects 25 percent of skull damage but it has no dodge or uh, reduction to skull damage so that's a little downside on that um, it's last trait says gain three magic when my turn begins. Whoa, okay. This, this changes it a little bit. So now I got to get this troop and then I got to test it out. But I think what it means is that it's going to gain three magic every time your turn begins, which if that's the case, slowly it will increase its percentage to lethally kill the enemy by three every single uh, turn. That, that uh, can make this troop pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try to get this one. Uh, and hopefully my luck holds out. Uh, but I do have 18, almost 19,000 uh, gems. My face is covering it up on the camera. But you can't see it there. I got about n uh, close to 19,000 gems. So we can dip into that if I need to go to VIP. Um, Jess, but... Uh, first of all, I'm going to go in here and see, uh, I think I used all my 
orbs. Um, but 40,000 seals. I'm going to use the guild uh, seals and keys first. And then we'll go on to glory and gem keys. But uh, right here, you want to get up to 40,000 as quick as you can. Uh, or as high as you can there before you start opening these. Because as you can see here on the left or on the right side, my other left. On the right side here, uh, 10,000 seals is where you need to be for mythics to even drop. So you want to make sure you're at least 10,000 seals before you start opening your uh, your guild seals. Uh, thinking that you're going to get a chance to get this mythic. Uh, but I do have another orb here. Let me use this. And do I have another one? Nope. Okay. So uh, I have 10,000 of these. So we're going to start by opening those. And we'll see if we get lucky. I got Smashed Mouth. Legendary uh, Goblin Troop there. But yeah, I'm really uh, Web Spinner and Willow. Web Spinner is a great uh, Legendary Troop. A little bit of a mana generator. Does some damage to all enemies. Poisons them. Uh, deals triple skull damage to poisoned and webbed enemies. So that's... Uh, I, I like using Web Spinner, and you see it in a lot of teams. If you play PvP at all, you're going to see Web Spinner in there. Um, he's just one of those troops, people, once they find out <laughs> how, how uh, powerful he can be, they just start using him. King Bloodhammer, I like this one a lot. I uh, still use it. I might actually use this for my uh, uh, Guild War battles today. And that's it. Uh, we're going to, after this video, I'm going to go ahead and record my Guild War battles for... Uh, the day and today it's brown so you know uh, you guys can look forward to that video coming out after this one and we also have bounties this weekend so if you guys uh, want some extra whoa we got the arch duke <laughs> wow the luck uh, that's i love it when i'm actually lucky because there's been so many times where i have just been like uh, depressed by how many keys I've used to try to get a new troop. So there it is. We got the Archduke in our guild uh, seals, uh, our guild keys there. And that makes me real happy. <laughs> wow. Um, last time, and we still got a thousand left there. I wonder if I should just use them or save them. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I had 830 gem keys here and ready to go 4,200 glory keys and then of course, you know I was I was prepared to dip in uh, VIP keys for it, but now we don't need to uh, I can save that for next month uh, But yeah, uh, I had to use 9,000 uh, guild seals there to get it <coughs> guild keys but Yeah, wow oh. I'm actually kind of <laughs> actually kind of shocked right now that I actually got it that quick um, so yeah, they want me to pay real money here to fully trade this thing. And, uh, you know, I mean, like I, I see what they're doing. The metal of Nisha is a hard, uh, metal to farm in explore battles. Oh, and that's the other thing too, is the, this troop, if we can figure out how to get his magic powered up high enough, uh, quick enough, we might be able to use it for high level explore battles too, but it's going to be more useful in delves because, uh, when you level up your delve, you're going to increase the magic that your troops get. So this might be closer to like a starting of like 50% chance to do lethal damage to troops. I got to test that out. But um, yeah, we got it. The Archduke. So let me go and uh, trade this guy. The Arch. Oh, of course, there's going to be a bunch of other ones. So just type in the whole name. Yeah, wow. I always thought this video was going to be longer. <laughs> it's only a 10 minute video right now. Uh, cause usually I just, I have horrible luck usually getting these mythics. I had a, some good luck of the, the first couple of months of this year. And then after that, this last, the last mythic before this one was real, uh, real pain to try to get. I wonder if, if these metals, what actually gets increased. Okay. So it's magic does actually get increased by, it looks like maybe four. If I can fully, uh, metal this thing. And I don't want to use a Metal Anisha for that, but an extra four magic gives you just a little extra percentage of lethal damage on it. I wonder, oh, there's a 33% chance there on this. Let me see if I can actually 
Oh, it actually worked. <laughs> a 33% chance actually uh, worked on that. But if I use these a second time, that's only 16% chance. I don't know if I'm going to be that lucky. I mean, those numbers are better than uh, the lottery. But, um, hey, we got it. Uh, we got it meddled once. So I wonder if that, because it was 29 magic on there. Yeah, okay, so now it's 30 magic because I meddled it uh, once. And then, like, that's the other thing, too. Like, if you had three medals of Nisha, you would have, right now I only have one equipped. But if I had two more, we could uh, add another eight magic with that to that troop, which would put me at, like, 38 magic uh, and give me that little bit higher percentage of lethal damage. I wonder, oh yeah, we were going to test out whether um, its ability does that thing. Let me, uh, well, I, I haven't done a brown team for this yet, so let me edit this team, and we'll throw the Archduke in here, and for weapon, let's just go, um, Mountain Crusher, because it does use brown. There's Mountain Crusher, and I don't know what other troops to put with it, honestly. Um, we don't have a Guardian. We don't have Guardians that are Demons, do we? Because if we did, that would increase its magic a lot every four match. I wonder if we do. Um, I should look at... Did I misspell that? Probably. Let me, uh... Is there a kingdom that's just guardians? Let's see here. Uh, we got Russia. We have Taurus. We have Urska. We have Strix. Yeah, so the, these are the four... Okay, well, and then there's this one, but that's a war gear. Oh, and then we have a Naga. Yeah, we don't have one that's a demon. That's unfortunate. That would have been awesome. Um, well, scratch that idea. So I really don't know which troop then is going to increase its magic. We're going to have to think about that and look at some troops. What kind of support troops do we have that increase magic? Or... Uh, Something that, like, Shibanu Vespera, give 15 to a random skill on an ally. That might actually do something. Um, increase a random skill. Could possibly increase magic. I know there's a couple of troops like this one will increase magic by two, but that's, like, nothing. Hmm. Uh, one cast only. This increases by five magic. Huh. I wonder. There might be a weapon that's uh, pretty good for that. I don't know. But, um. Hmm. Interesting. I, I really don't know right now which one would be good. I don't know. But I just want to really test out the... Uh, I want to test out this trait. And gain three magic when my turn begins. So I got the Orb Weaver still equipped down here. Let's go Titan. And uh, let's go into this, this, bad, this team might be really bad uh test for this but we'll, we'll probably lose against this team but we'll see here i want to i just want to test this ability out okay so he starts oh, 37 magic here that i have uh must have gained four from my medal of nisha and then my turn began and it must have given it three so it's at 37 so let's see it was 37 Okay, now I have another turn that just started. 
Ah, it did. It worked. So it's 40 now. <clears throat> nice. So let me use Shibanu on that. And uh, we just increased a random skill. This guy's really whacking me. I don't know what the skill was that we randomly did there, but eh. It did not lethally kill the Wrath, unfortunately. It didn't lethally kill that guy. Ah. Man, I really hate this guy, Magnus, because passively he just really does a lot of nasty uh, negative status effects to your troops. And there he died. So I don't know, I'll retreat from this. That Magnus really messed me up. So let's try a different team here. This one should be better. But I want to, you know, this isn't like a really great team to go against PvP with. I just wanted to throw something together real quick just to test this out. Okay, so it's 37 there. So we have a 40% chance. 43% chance here to lethally kill something. And did not lethally kill... Uh, and that, like the health is way too low on these guys anyway. Uh, we got Shibanu back up. 69. And it's hard to tell if it's actually lethally killing them now. <laughs> because the, the magic damage that it does right here is 115. So that's pretty insane. Um, but I really do think, I, I'm curious, let's go in and do just a really, let's start a delve battle with it and see what kind of magic we, we start out with. So I haven't, uh, I haven't done my delve battles here today, so we should be able to get a battle going. Let's see, Werewoods maybe, and I'm at level 240. No, let's go to, let's see, Mirrored Halls, level 500. This is level 490. That should be good. So let's go to a 500 battle. Let's go in here, fight this, and let's put the Archduke. Oh, wait. I think, uh, yeah, okay. I didn't look at the color restrictions. I forgot that that was a thing down in here. But anyway, uh, so we got that. Going for the brown. And all right, let's uh let's start a battle here. This is a level 500 delve, and okay, so my magic is starting out at 50. Interesting. I thought it was gonna be a little bit higher than that, but. Yeah, I don't have the right colors here. Ah, got hit by that dude. Let's see, we can use a skull. Oh, we got this guy powered up. Alright, so we have him now. Okay, he's now at 71. So he's got a 71% chance to do lethal damage. And it did not happen right there. I, unless I'm misunderstanding his ability. I, I don't think I am. So we'll we'll cast him again. It's it's definitely gonna okay, so we have an eighty percent chance. 
There we go. That that happened. It got him there. And of course we can devour that guy. Devour is maybe gonna be a little more predictable. Um of course the uh, essence of evil here isn't the greatest mana generator for this. If I did uh if I did uh Mountain Crusher would probably be better than this. But it's definitely, okay, it's at 101. It will lethally kill now, so I just need to get... Get it powered up. Here we go. So, this is going to be a real test, because 163 here, magic is not going to be enough to kill this troop. So, if it dies when I hit it, because my magic here is 104... And according to what it says here, chance uh, there's a percentage chance equal to my magic to destroy them. So it's over 100%. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we know that's how it works with its ability. Cool.